Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to start today with calendar time. Calendar time. Yesterday was, yesterday was Tuesday. Tuesday starts with a T. T, 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 T for Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday starts with a W. So if yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, tomorrow will be Thursday. Thursday starts with a TH, so it makes the th sound. So try making that th sound. Put your tongue between your teeth and blow out. Th 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 Thursday. Good job. The month is, remember our month is May. The date is, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. The date is six. So I'm going to choose my number six. Is today the sixth? Yes, yes it is. The weather is, I forgot to say. Looks pretty sunny to me. The weather is sunny. Is it sunny outside? Yes, it is. The season is spring. Remember in the spring, we start to see leaves growing on the trees and flowers are springing up all around us. What's this? Sorry, guys. Don't know what happened there. All right, let's do our story. Oh, you know what? Let's do our weather report first. So. Our weather. So we already said today is Wednesday. Wednesday. The month is May. May. The date is the sixth. Six. We said it's sunny out. And let's check our weather report just to make sure that that's what they say too. Our weather report, see the sun in, over here? and there's nothing around it, that means it's going to be sunny. Well, it's sunny right now, but it looks like it might get cloudy later. Um, but it says that there's not going to be any rain, and the temperature is 53. So let's look at our thermometer chart. Come on. 53. Let's zoom in so we can see that bigger. Internet's going so slow. Okay. So 50 is up here, and it looks like 50 is the very top of green. So if I was to go more than 50, I'll be in the yellow warm category. So we'll click sunny. sunny. I can't click the arrow. There we go. 
and we said it was warm out. Warm. Let's choose a person to get dressed. We already did this guy and this girl, so let's do this guy. Our little buddy in the wheelchair. So, what kind of bottom should we wear if it's Bottoms. warm out? 53. Is 53 really warm enough for shorts? No, not really. It's still kind of chilly. So, let's wear jeans. some jeans. Tops. Hmm. 53 is still kind of chilly. So, let's wear a long sleeve long shirt. shirt. Shoes. Shoes. Well, it didn't say it was going to rain. It's not snowing, but it's not very warm out. Let's put some tennis shoes on them. Hats. hats. It's sunny, so let's put a baseball hat on them. Let's see what we got for accessories. Accessories. Since it's sunny, let's wear sunglasses. some sunglasses. Outerwear. It's Outerwear. a little chilly. Mm. He'll probably be good with a sweatshirt. sweatshirt. Yeah, that looks good. And there's our little friend. He's outside. It looks like he's at a park. I see a little path and a tree and some green grass growing. And I see a sun in the sky. So it's sunny and warm. What are you wearing today? Are you dressed appropriately for the weather? Let's read our story. What? do you do? Remember, the author is Amy Bin. That's the person that wrote the story. And the person that drew all these cool pictures, our illustrator, is Alex Weishart. What's going on? Every day, Ruby sees her mom leave for work. She wears a suit. She takes a briefcase. What does Ruby's mom do? Where does Ruby's mom go? When Ruby's mom gets home, Ruby asks, Mom, what do you do? Ruby's mom says, I work with a lot of people. I help people get money. I work in a bank. So where does Ruby's mom work? She works in a bank. Ruby's mom also says that she works to earn money. She earns money so they can buy a house, clothes, and food. Every day, Lee sees his dad leave for work. He wears a uniform. He takes a lunchbox. What does Lee's dad do? Where does Lee's dad go? When Lee's dad gets home, Lee asks, Dad, what do you do? Lee's dad says, I work with a lot of people. Sorry, guys. I use machines. I work in a factory. Where does Lee's dad work? Lee's dad works in a factory. Lee's dad also says that he works to earn money. He earns money so they can buy a house, clothes, and food. Every day, Tracy sees her dad leave for work. He wears jeans and a t-shirt. He wears a tool belt. What does Tracy's dad do? Where does Tracy's dad go? When Tracy's dad gets home, Tracy asks, Dad, what do you do? Tracy's dad says, I work for a lot of people. I help build houses. I am a construction worker. 
So what did Tracy's dad do? He's a construction worker. Tracy's dad also says that he works to earn money. He earns money so they can buy a house, clothes, and food. And here you could see a house, clothes, and food. People have different jobs. People wear different clothes to work. What job does your mom or dad do? Yesterday I told you about my mom. Today I'm going to tell you about my dad. My dad is an engineer. So he takes care of buildings and makes sure that they're running properly. He also uses tools at his job. The end. So let's answer these questions. Where does Ruby's mom work? Where did we say? She works at the bank. What does Ruby's mom earn? When you go to work, do you go to work to earn toys? No. Do you go to work to earn money? Yes, money. What does Lee's dad do in a factory? Lee's dad, hmm, is he gonna go to work and sleep? No, he could get hurt if he fell asleep at work. Does he go to work to sing? No. When he goes to work in a factory, he goes to work to do work. What is Tracy's dad's job? Is he a construction worker? Yes, he is. What does Tracy's dad earn money to buy? Does he want to buy air with his money? Clouds or a house? Air? No, the air is all around us so we can breathe. Clouds are in the sky, you can't buy clouds. A house, yes, he needs money to pay for his house so they have a place to live. Let's look at some math problems. Paige has one shirt. Count one shirt. So I'm gonna look, here's little Paige, and you can see right here she has an orange shirt, and she has just one shirt. So here's the number one. Here's Drew. It says Drew has three shirts. Count three shirts. One, two, three. Drew has three shirts. So who has more? If you can see in this little picture, over here is two little blocks, and over here is a whole bunch, and the arrow is pointing to the one that has a bunch of little squares. So who has more? Paige has one, and Drew has three, so he has more. So Drew has more. Who has less? Well, Paige only has one, and as you can see, less is the one that has fewer little boxes or shirts in this case. So in this case, Paige has less. Hmm. Paige has 10 towels. Count 10 towels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Paige has ten towels. That's a one and a zero. You have ten fingers. So you have one finger for every towel that Paige has. Drew. Drew has seven towels. Count seven towels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So who has more? Remember, more is the one that has the bigger number of towels. So in this case, Paige has more. Who has less? Less is the person that has the smaller number of towels. In this case, Drew has less since seven is smaller than 10. Good job, boys and girls. 
Now we're going to do some WH questions. Where did it go? Okay. WH questions. Penguin, the penguin catches a fish to eat. What does the penguin catch? Eat, penguin, or fish? The penguin catches the fish. Yay, you did it! The lion sleeps during the day. What does the lion do during the day? Hmm, what does the lion do? Tiger? What? There's no tiger in our question. Sleeps? Yes, the lion sleeps. Last one. The fire alarm rings and surprise the kids. What surprises the kids? Do the kids surprise the kids? No. Does the fire alarm surprise the kids? Yes, a fire alarm is really loud, so it would scare and surprise most of the people. All right, let's do um, a couple of boom cards I wanted to practice. No, no, internet. All right. N. So this one says N. N. Is this N? No. Is this N? Yes. Find the letter Z. Z. Is this Z? No. Is this Z? No, it kind of looks like a Z. It's got a lot of squiggle. But Z is like a zigzag. Find the letter O. O. O is like a circle. I remember because when I opened my mouth to go, oh, it makes the letter O. O. Find the letter Y. Y. Y is here. Find the letter P. The last one, we're going to look for the letter P. P is over here. Good job, boys Find and girls. Find the letter And X. let's finish our day with the joke of the day. The joke of the day. Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Do you get it? Because eight, like you're eating food, like eat food, yum, yum. Sounds the same as the number eight. Eight, he ate food. So six is afraid of seven because seven, eight, nine. Well, that's it for today, boys and girls. I hope you are all staying safe and being good and listening to your parents or your grandparents and that you are getting some time to play outside. It's sunny today. It may not be warm, but I hope you can go outside to get some fresh air. Bye, boys and girls. See you all tomorrow.